So today's lesson is lesson 12, simplifying weird expression and understanding of variable expressions. All right, first off, we'll talk about example one. Say we have 3x plus x. Let's see what you would do here is take the 3x. You say you have three of these x's and one of these x's. Just pretend that there's an imaginary one here. Now you just simply add the coefficients instead of the adding the variables, and you get four, and then you just have an x. So you have four x's. So this thing right here is called a constant, and the x right here, not including the one, would be a variable. Example two. Now we'll talk about how to cross out variables when you have dividing by another variable such as 12x divided by x equals 12 we can also write this as 12 x over x you see here we have an x on top and an x on bottom those can simply just cross out and we get simply just 12 you can also view this as 12 being multiplied by x over x and since we know that x can be any number since it's a variable for example it can be 1 over 1 we could just assume that 1 over 1 would just be 1 or 4 or 4 would also equal 1 so any variable that you have represented by x will also cancel and be 1 so basically it's 12 multiplied by something that's 1 would just be 12 now this works out only when you have the same variable. Now if you have a y and an x on top and then you're dividing by an x, those x's will only cancel and the y would be left over. Because y represents another variable, not x. And so they're two different numbers. Y representing any number and x representing a different number or any different number that's not y. Example three, say we have 14x divided by 16x. Simply, you would just cross out the x's and you just get 14 over 16. Since x is just a number and it's the same number since it's represented by the same variable x and not a different variable on top or bottom you can cross them off because you're simply just dividing by the same number and this you can reduce to 7 eighths you can also just divide it out and you'd get 0 0.87 example 4 say we have a 2x and then we have the same 2x now you can see here that the 2 and 2 will make 1 and also this x and x whatever that is will also make one. So it's like multiplying one times one divided by one times one, which would just give you one. So you can also represent this as two multiplied by x divided by two multiplied by x. And since we have x here and x here, we can cross those out. And we have a two here, two here, those just become one. So we end up being having one times one on top divided by 1 times 1 and that would just give you 1 also so this broken up would be seen as this which is actually simplified to this which is actually just 1 so when you see something like this you can just assume that this is just 1 and that was example number 4 okay example number 5 now we're going to be multiplying variables together so we have an x multiplied by another x. What this does is actually change the exponent right here. So a number in the exponent position. So you have two of these. So all you'd have to do is say x being multiplied by another x, you would have x squared because you're multiplying them. Now also say you if you already have x squared, you already multiplied it or you start off with x squared and you multiply that by another x you would get x to the third or x cubed 
so you just add these exponents so there's an imaginary one here so you get two plus one you get three same here you get one one you get one plus one which would be two so that what number the exponent would be so in this case it would be the exponent would be three and this would be two so x to the second power or x to the third power you just add the exponents when you're multiplying variables so this does not work when you're adding them so if you have x plus x this does not equal x squared only works with multiplication moving on to the last problem okay example six this will start getting into what will lead into the lesson thirteen say we have one half x you can also write this as one half or one x or this you can write as x halves so the x is being multiplied across that would make this on top and keep the two on bottom shown here and it would end up looking like this it's all the same thing so if you have something like this and you multiply by an x what would this do well all this would do is you have an basically you have an x on top multiplied by an x so you'd get an x squared and you'd have the two on the bottom now this is very similar to what we were just doing but we're we're having numbers in there now well, this concludes our lesson uh, if you do have any comments about the video please put them down below um, and also give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching. You can find all of our videos on mymathmanual.com. You can catch our next video or preview the previous lessons by clicking in this area here. This will preview the next lesson and this gives you the previous lesson.